it's showtime here at Knoxville. Good start from Kerry Madsen and Brian Brown goes right through the middle. Look at Brown, he tried to go four wide. Look, good run for Tyler Cordy and Corey Elias and off the bottom side by side for second. Corey Elias and out of the second spot, he'll get by Sunshine Tyler Cordy, but no, he about spins it in turn four. He hangs on to it as they work off of turn four. Here comes Brian Brown. Man, what a save by Corey Elias and it's a battle for the lead. Sunshine threw a haymaker at him but couldn't get clear of him and now a battle for second. Gio Selzy on the move. Meanwhile, a battle for fourth starting to develop. Here comes Rico. Rico Abreu out of the outside as they work into turns three and four. Eliason slides up across the top to block. He'll leave the inside open, and that's where Brian Brown finds himself. Brown tries the inside line, and now Parker Price Miller begins to close in on the top five cars. Abreu throws a slider at Elias that moves Rico Abreu up into the fourth spot. Brian Brown closes in three car battle for fourth and fifth into turn three. Tyler Courtney has cut that lead in half. The last two laps is Kerry Madsen into lap traffic with nine of the books next time by eight this time. Big slider on the lap car. Whoa, boy, did Kerry Madsen make a big move. Cap Henry was not where he wanted to be. Madsen couldn't get by him quick enough. Now, Courtney looks to the inside of Cap Henry as well as they race into turn number four. Cap Henry four wheels over the cushion there as your leaders are working around lap cars. Well, you've got two lap cars racing against the leaders with the leaders as they run through the corners, and that's allowed Rico Abreu to close in on Gio Selzy. Selzy still locked up behind Kyle Ryerson and Cap Henry in turn number one. He tried the middle, couldn't get there, but Rico reeled him right in and took a look. Now Rico's pit behind a lap car down the back stretch. Here he comes, Rico on the move. Rico with a big slider in three. Abreu to the spot now, side by side for the lead. Tyler Courtney down to the inside for the lead. They nearly come together in one. Madsen slams the door. It turns one and two. Tyler Courtney to the high side of the racetrack. Down the back shoot now. Kerry Madsen working traffic on the bottom of the racetrack. Yellow coming out. Caution for the 55 of Hunter Schurenberg. 14 to go. The Madman to the PWR restart zone in turn number four through the Cure Speed Shop cone, and we are back underway. Boy, it's almost like Tyler Courtney kind of struggled a little bit there to get under fire. Yeah, he didn't take off. Oh, he nearly spins it right there. Rico takes advantage, gets over the cushion as Courtney side by side for the second spot down the back straightaway. Rico with the advantage into three. Meanwhile, Kerry Madsen takes advantage of that and extends his lead big. Rico into the second spot. Courtney back. Oh, car to the wall, upside down. And oh, and he gets hit. Hunter Schurenberg gets him. Aaron Reitzel, the car that flipped upside down. Carey bringing the field around. Tyler right on his back bumper this time. Rico stays right there with him as well. The green's out. Here we go to the cone. Rico's right there, but Courtney blocks it. Now the door's open for Gio Selzy. Side by side for fourth point. Brian Brown and Corey Eliason have just had an amazing battle. Battle, battle, battle. That's what they've been doing as they race for the second spot now. Rico tries to get it, can't quite get there. Tyler Courtney able to squeak back by on the outside. Rico running third, Gio Selzy fourth, and Corey Eliason is fifth. Gary Madsen on the top, lap traffic all over the racetrack. Here comes Tyler Courtney. Oh, he bangs the fence in turn two. Ambrose the fence, and Rico's there. Rico to the inside for second. Rico Abreu takes the second spot now on the back bumper. Gary Madsen, three wide for the lead, nearly off of turn four. Here comes Tyler Courtney to the inside. He'll get back to second in front of Rico. Rico down to the inside of turn one. Madsen held up behind Cap Henry. Here comes Abreu for the lead. Rico Abreu to the lead. Throw a blanket over the top three this time. Five four to go, and Abreu to the top spot off of turn number four. Kerry Madsen on the bottom, but Rico leads lap 21. Rico Abreu now has a decision to make. Lap traffic ahead, he'll thread the needle into turn number one. Goes to the top of turn two. He'll close the gap on Brian Brown into three. Meanwhile, Rico four wheels over the cushion off of four. Rico pinballs off the fence, a white flag flying, one to go. Can Abreu hang on? Kerry Madsen closing back in. Does he have enough time though? Final time, Abreu into the wall. Here comes Kerry Madsen, a big run, your race is for the lead. Side by side for the lead, checker flag will win. Abreu has the lead. Here comes Madsen off the bottom of turn four. It's gonna be Rico Abreu, the winner. What a thriller at the sprint car.